Hall of Fame quarterback Joe Namath speaking only to WPTV about a report this week in the New York Times about brain injuries and football players. Doctors tested the brains of more than 100 dead NFL players. All but one came back with CTE. It's a brain disease linked to blows to the head. Namath is hoping treatment he went through at Jupiter Medical Center will one day help minimize the impact of brain injuries on others. As our Chris Stewart reports, it's a clinical trial that Namath guarantees helped him and believes it can help those well beyond football. It's a date Katie now never forgets. September 27th, 2003. But for years, she couldn't remember why the date mattered. It was spotty at best the day a truck blindsided her as she tried to cross an intersection. I woke up in a hospital room by myself. I the first thing I noticed was a window full of cards. She was in a coma for weeks with a long list of injuries. I had two fractures and a complete break in my jaw, three fractured ribs, one of which uh, lacerated my liver, another one puncturing the right side of my lung. And major damage to her brain. I was living in a fog, constant fog. For more than a decade, just minor thoughts were a struggle. Then she entered a clinical trial at Jupiter Medical Center using hyperbolic oxygen therapy to help people with traumatic brain injuries. More than 100 hour long sessions inside this chamber and that fog started to clear. I would tell people it's like seeing everything in HD, very clear, very high definition. This is bigger than sports. This is for everyone. Hall of Famer Joe Namath went through the same therapy. In fact, the room's now named after him. He's an iconic Super Bowl hero who suffers today from multiple concussions. Okay, you had your bell rung. That, that was just a part of the athlete's life. We had no idea that it was a damage, damaging blow potentially to the brain. Before Namath underwent therapy, doctors found part of his brain wasn't getting the proper blood flow a side where he took a lot of hits. After spending time in the chamber, x-rays showed those parts of Namath's brain woke up. We can get them into the trial and we can treat them and change their lives. You're looking at 60, 70 years ahead of them of a totally different uh, life. Dr. Lee Fox, who helps run the clinical trial, explained how doctors increase air pressure while patients are in the chamber. Yeah. I went in for myself. In terms so of then the oxygen, pressure, oxygen, pure oxygen would fill the chamber and at a higher pressure than, than room pressure. The goal now is for this therapy to help patients from all backgrounds, from a person just trying to drive home. Everything was so much clearer, brighter. To a football legend. I think the good Lord and Lady Luck have played a major role in my case. Again, this is a clinical test right now, and Dr. Fox says the results are promising. So far, they've tested about 15 patients, and they're planning to test up to 100. In the newsroom, Chris Stewart, WPTV News Channel 5.